Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. This episode is Lesson 17 of our look at the book of 1 Corinthians. In the last episode, we covered 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 through 11. This episode, we'll look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. The, the episode will be titled, Lawfulness versus Expedience. Let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. All things are lawful to me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful to me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Paul here is talking about the liberty that a Christian has. And in verses 13 to 20, it's, he's going to be dealing with the application of that liberty. So he comes along and says, all things are lawful to me, but all things are not expedient. Now this could mean one of two things. He could be saying everything is lawful, but I should not do them all the time. But that would mean that fornication, stealing, and murder are all lawful. We know that can't be true of, because of what he just said in 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 11. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. He then comes along and says, all things are lawful to me. In verse 12. He cannot be saying that fornication and stealing and murder are lawful because he just said those people won't inherit the kingdom of God. So the people who come along and try to teach that everything is lawful, that's not true. Paul is not saying that all things are lawful in the sense that God will just accept everything. What is he saying then? Well, he is saying that everything has a lawful purpose but sometimes even those lawful things should not be practiced because they would not be helpful or expedient. Everything has a lawful purpose. God created everything with a lawful purpose, a righteous purpose. Genesis 1.31 says, God saw his creation and behold, it was very good. There was no sin in God's creation. So when we go back to fornication, adultery, and homosexuality, what is wrong with that? Well... It's sex outside of marriage. That's what's wrong with that. God designed sex for marriage. Anytime we practice sex outside of marriage, then we are sinning. Homosexuality is never right because God didn't design marriage to be between a man and a man and a woman and a woman. He designed marriage to be between a man and a woman. And therefore, homosexuality is always wrong. But sex between men and women is not always wrong if done inside of marriage. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 2 tells us about that. Sex is for marriage. Buying goods is, to what, is what is to be practiced according to James 4.13. We are not to steal. Alcohol is to be used as a medicine, not a social drink. From 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 23. Those are lawful uses for the things that people abuse and make sinful. Paul is saying no actions in themselves were unlawful provided that they were in God's original design and creation. They were done to promote the general welfare of all and we were not made masters of them. Not, uh, and we were the, sorry, I, I misspoke. And we were the masters of them, not they of us. We must always be self-controlled. We must always, we must never give up our control over anything, whether it's lawful or not. Sex should not reign in our lives. Sex in marriage is good, but uncontrolled desire, not good. We need to control our bodies. We need to control our tongue. Paul is saying, though, here that we have liberty in Christ. James 1.25, how is the law of Christ described? The perfect law of liberty. But we need to remember, just because something was lawful doesn't mean that it is always helpful or expedient to use them. We must only exercise our liberty if it is helpful to do so. I'll give an example. Uh, today, on the highway, it is 
right to drive 100 kilometers an hour. I'm, I'm recording from Canada. If you live in the United States, speed limits could be 55, 60, 65, or 70. And depending on where it is, that's lawful to drive that speed limit in those zones. But if it is snowing, it may not be expedient to drive that fast. It could cause an accident. You might come to the cops and say, what? Well, I was doing the speed limit. Yes, but you weren't driving according to the conditions. And you would be charged with dangerous driving, even though you were driving the speed limit. If you were doing so in a snowstorm, where it was slick driving, especially if you caused an accident, you're going to be, you're going to be charged with dangerous driving, even though you were doing the speed limit. Sometimes, our liberties, we need to curb back if they are not expedient for us to use them. And Paul is saying here that none of our liberties should control us. It's exactly what Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance, to temperance patience, to patience godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, to brotherly kindness love. For if these things abound, they make, uh, sorry, if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Notice there, temperance is there. Self-control is what we need to add. Self-control over the desires of us wanting to buy things. It's not wrong, us wanting to buy things, even some things that are expensive. But let's not always just have to have the newest thing. That's lust. Let's not have our liberty to buy things with the money that we earn control us that we become materialistic. Let's not use uh, the proper use of marriage, husband and wife, sex inside that marriage just to come along and have all of our passions fulfilled all of the time. We need to learn to control that too. We need to learn to control everything. Yes, we have liberty, but sometimes it is not helpful to exercise that liberty. And that's what Paul is saying here in verse 12. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at verses 13 to 20 of 1 Corinthians 6 as Paul applies what he just said in verse 12 to something else that uh, the Corinthians were having problems with. So we hope you can join us for that episode. But perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the Word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. For free online Bible-based material or to get directions to our meeting place, you can, send, you can visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. While there, you'll also find links to more of our podcasts as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other, any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.